exit of summer. And it's important that the trade unions are involved in this event. This week, Iraq's elected parliament said, get the US troops out. We are saying to Boris Johnson, you may have support in parliament, you do not have support out here in the streets. The situation once again in the Middle East. And we have to be very clear about this. There's no case we wouldn't be in this mess. Jeremy Corbyn is here. Oh my God, Jeremy Corbyn's here, Pratt. Oh my God, Brexit, the Brexit, Matt Manzia is going to literally stir things up. In this country. So I'm very delighted to welcome our next speaker. I when, first heard Maybe speak when Jeremy on comes on, I'll raise the flag. Against the yeah. war in Iraq otherwise, in otherwise uh, she's now a patron of the Stop War Coalition. Before, Please welcome before Salmi Apu. I've been trying to call you, boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yes. With you, a heavy heart, he's a today. Oh, this is great. So I managed to get here just. Amy's on. Amy's on. Hello, Amy. <laughs> I love you, Amy. Wish you were here. But I've just arrived, uh, just in time for Jeremy Corbyn to arrive. I'm going to raise the Union Jack, which has also the Stars and Stripes, and lest we forget, on my sick, my flagpole, which is twice the height of a double-decker bus, just when Jeremy Corbyn comes on. He's the vice. President of CND and a previous chair of Stop the War, Jeremy Corbyn. Go, 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 go. Wait till it comes on. This for peace is desperately needed in this country and all around the world. And you are that voice for peace. And today, let's recognize the horror of this. God bless America! God bless the whole world! God bless Donald Trump! God bless the United States of America! God bless the United States! God bless the United States of America! God bless the United Kingdom! There is no war in Iran! Donald Trump knew there would be no war in Iran! Because the Iranians don't want war! Donald Trump doesn't want war! It's not going to happen! There is not going to be a war! In fact, Donald Trump wants to come out of the Middle East! The wars in the Middle East! Oh look! Look who's here! Oh! Oh! Put your... Put your thing down! Yes, put your thing down! Oh look! What have we got here? It's... Oh, what's the piece? Why don't you get it? Roll Jeremy in the house! Roll Jeremy in the house! Show him the piece! Let's go America! I would also want that British government to have a fundamentalist and incentive point. Oh look at this! Human rights! It's just a very bad speech all around the world. They don't like it! 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 They this but man gets to talk in the House of the Parliament. This man gets to talk every like week. To the whole nation. He, whole nation. he gets to the whole nation. He talks. He gets hammered. He talks in Prime Minister's question time. He talks in Prime Minister's question time to the whole nation. Bye, Corbyn. Bye, bye, Corbyn. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, Corbyn. Bye, bye, Corbyn. Bye, bye. You've got it completely wrong. He's way smarter than you think. He's going to be one of the first That his predecessor started. That Reagan, that Reagan, that Bush. Bush started. 
You see Max right? Hey? You can't see him. Did he? How are you? You and there is no war in Iraq. And there is no war in Iraq. And there's not going to be a war. Where is the war now? Where is the war? Iran now. Yeah, that's right. You got a problem? You don't. 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 It makes no sense! I'm expressing my opinion. Fair enough. Yeah. And I have a right to do so. Yes. And they got rid of it. They were the first we and Americans were the first nations. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you don't want to talk now because you're, you're going to get a counter argument. So you don't want to talk. No. No. Exactly. Oh, he doesn't want a counter argument for me because I'm beneath being spoken to because I'm Nazi scum according to this fellow. Yes. Oh well, okay then, why are you not willing to have a counter argument? You can't have, oh, I see. This is the flag of freedom and liberty. You can't Because yet again we find ourselves on the cusp of war, and yet again it's down to us. But here we are again. God bless America! God bless Donald Trump! And say no to war. God bless the United Kingdom! Soleimani was a murderer! He killed people in Syria! He killed people in Iraq! He killed American troops! He not killed the big truth. He got what was coming to him. Oh, there we go. Here he comes. Here he comes. 
They, they have to use mechanized methods because they haven't got the gun. They haven't got the mouth. See, this is what they do. Uh, this is what they do. They can't compete. They can't compete, so they have to use. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about him, okay? You think the Iranians wouldn't use the same thing if they had it? The Iranians would do exactly the same thing. The Iranians are, are bombing. The Iranians are killing all over the Middle East. I can see the cogs working there. It was like, what's the word but, but, yeah. So, so uh, you know, it's not just one-sided. One, you know, it's not one evil. There are lots of evil. It's stupid that you're ashamed of somebody who grew up in this establishment by treating them in a little more silly way with the Alpha Norwich Church. He's actually just refusing. He's just refusing. I do not realise that that's insane. No, you've got it the wrong way round, mate. Trump is like. Trump is just a sigh of a rich man. Okay, well tell him to shut up. Oi, shut up, I can't hear your friend. I'm trying to listen to your friend. Shut up, They can't deal with rational conversation. Give us some rational conversation. They cannot have a rational conversation. They have to shout you down. You will not. He will not take that stupid megaphone out of his mouth because it may, for some reason he feels he can only talk with a megaphone. No, I don't. Yes, he does. You see, and I, you can't have a conversation with a man with a megaphone, and this is a problem. He says he's got a sore. I don't have a megaphone. He says he's got a sore throat, and now he's giving me an earache. This is a speaking device. But we know, having been there, this is endless... I don't know, it seems that all leftists seem to have megaphones. I don't know why. They seem to have to amplify their voice because they got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, nothing properly. Nothing, nothing decent to say. Do you think Jeremy Corbyn is Yes, he is a racist. He is. He's a racist. He is. He is a racist. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Hello, oh, Trump. Oh, God bless Please. America. Oh, look at it. Look at this idiot here. He's, oh, look, there's hundreds of people on the internet watching you now. And they think you're so they, they, the they think you're the biggest cock on earth. And I tell you what, you're going to be all over the internet. It's a shame we can't see your ugly face. Oh, 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 it must, he must have an ugly face because he's not willing to show it. It's nowhere near as pretty as yours, darling. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. Roll Britannia! Britannia rolls the world! Hey, the world the world of 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 the world no! Who is going to have to go there? You'll have to put this microphone down right out there. It would be turning the ground. Well, they wouldn't be turning the ground. Fuck you! They'd be turning in the ground. Look at the graves looking at you lot! Yeah! Look at it, you lot! Look at that vitriol. Look at the vitriol. Yeah. This is the nature of the left. So, this is the nature of the left. Full of aggression, full of anger, full of nastiness, full of swearing. Trump's not the problem, it's the solution. Yeah, you've got nothing to say, mate. Okay? What's my argument? I'll tell you what my argument is. This. That there will be no war in Iran, and I'll tell you this: that Trump will be out of Iran very, very soon. Just like Iraq. Just like Iraq. <laughs> Just like Iraq. Okay. Come on. All right. All right. I'll meet you here in, in five years' time, and he'll be out. I'll give you a tenner. <laughs> this is that Trump isn't actually a war president. I know that it's, it's, I think it's, I know it's the default position of Stop the War Coalition that anything American is always, is always evil and bad. Trump is, okay. Yes, it's, it's all. Yeah. And his stroke of water is telling me he's all yeah. He was going to attack my country yeah. and destroy sites of history and religious It was retaliation. I'm, I'm definitely not supporting the Iranian government. Don't get me wrong. Okay, good. But if he's going to fuck with my history, if he's going to fuck with my history, <laughs> yes. you can't say that he's going to fuck with my history. It's blu
It was retaliation. He was retaliation. He was retaliation. He was it's not action, okay? No, 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 so the, the point is this, that Trump is, is, is a lot smarter than you and I realize, okay? He, he, he erased the no, but, 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 but the Iran, the Iran, yes, but listen, listen, Iran is backed off, uh, Trump is backed off, and Trump has, Trump has said that he will negotiate with Iran without preconditions. He said it two days ago, without preconditions. Okay, Trump, hang on, let me, hang on, I, I'll just, I'm, I'm just answering your question again. He's, he's, he's willing to talk without preconditions, right? He said so, okay, just two days ago. Okay? Trump, Trump will talk. It's not a matter of whether we like Trump. It's not a matter of whether he's a nice person or not. It's not the point. It's action that counts. Here we go, no, no, no welcome here! Out of curiosity, why do you think we're up here? Because I know. Okay, that's it, yeah, it's part of you, isn't it? Do you want to go with all the best? Do you want to go with all the best? Close the borders! Come on, guys, like it. That is, that is the arrogant nature. That's the arrogant nature of people who cannot tolerate someone who has a different opinion. Them. They, they, they are the only people who have an opinion. And anyone else who is not part of the leftist progressive, if you're not leftist, if you're not what they call progressive, then you're not allowed to have an opinion. Oh, yeah. We won at full time. Yes. 
Oh look, they've all gone home. Well, Mummy right. got to call Mike Dinner for. Thank you, Rubber Dub. Yes, you see, the leftists, they can't hack it. They can't hack a bit of opposition. They've all gone home crying to their mummies now. That horrible man with a flag, he was there again. That horrible Brexit Batman. Oh, we can't stand it. Even Corbyn had to go home. He can't take the heat. He's gone back to tend to his vegetables. Gone back to his million pound house, yeah. like most of Oh, his million pound house. That's right. God bless America. Come here, come here, mate. We're on live on TV. We're live. This is a hero. The hero of College Green. The man himself. Jeremy. Oh, he <laughs> took care of our flags day and night in the cold, in the rain, and where the leftists were attacking our flags, yeah, yeah. he was running after them, chasing them. This is the man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm overwhelmed. Where's the money? Where's the 50 quid? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that concludes our activities for the day. We're going to go home, we're going to finish my laundry. I was, you know, that fellow Jeremy, I was in the middle of my laundry. Then I heard a phone call, Jeremy Corbyn's out here. So I had to go and finish up. So, uh, Jubilee Line Line was closed. Yes, I, I got to my station and it was closed. I went home and uh, I thought oh, I can't make it to the thing and then they told me they were coming to Trafalgar Square. So uh, I got the bus uh, to Queen's Park and got on the Bakerloo line to come down here. Got here just in time for Corbyn. Uh, yes. Well, here's the lefty press. There we go. How are you doing, mate? Looks like well, Dan, what did you make of, make of what happened there today? Oh, it was excellent. We had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, God, they got triggered once they again. They the, the, the stars and stripes. Penny of like nothing else. They were calling it a fascist flag. How could you call the stars and stripes of the United States of America, the founding nation, liberty and freedom in the whole world? And you call it a fascist flag, that's how deranged, mentally deranged these people are. It shows how little they know about anything. The founding fathers of America established a nation on the constitution that guarantees liberty for everyone. Now, of course, they're not perfect and their history is not perfect. And they, went, they did some wrong things, you know, slavery and so on, but they learned the lesson and they, and they changed. And, and America stands for liberty, freedom, Second Amendment is the only way to guarantee uh, your protection from, from the state. And these people have no idea. In fact, you can't really blame them because they haven't been educated. No one has taught them properly. They're not taught anything in school. So in a way, if they're normal, they're not the kind of idiots. I will talk with them. I will have a nice conversation with them because, because especially the young ones, they don't understand, and some of the young people who we t I talked to today were, were nice, nice people. They weren't, you know, the arrogant, horrible. Oh, but ones. there were a few dickheads there. Yeah, there were some total dickheads, especially the fellow with the megaphone, who, who, the Lone Ranger. You just couldn't, you just couldn't um, communicate with him at all. No, he, 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 no, no you, talking, no dialogue, nothing. How can you talk to someone who's shouting at you with a megaphone? And so they call him the Lone Ranger because of his mask. So uh, anyway, I think it was great. Sure. We, I, I think we had a cr at one point we had a crowd of young people around us, and I was actually talking to them, and they were actually listening, and uh, and I tried to listen to them and understand what they're saying, try to communicate, try to help them understand, try to help them change their mind. That Trump is not a war president. He's probably avoided wars. The Democrats would have taken America to war. They are the corrupt to the core, and uh, they are very, very dangerous people, the Democrats. And I'm worried about what they're going to do. They're going to, they want to get rid of Trump more than anything else in the world. And we, we have to stand up for Trump. If you're on the internet, if you're on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you've got to support Trump. Spread Trump 2020 all over the internet. 
let people around the world know, let Americans know that we support Trump here in the United Kingdom. And uh, pray for Trump, pray for America, because we've got, we've got, uh, we, we've got Brexit, at least it's, it's a start. And now the next thing is, the next battle is, is for Trump. So uh, that's what we have to do, support Trump from now on, get on your internet, use your social media, fight for Trump, uh, attack this fake impeachment. Okay, it's going, my battery's going to run out. Okay, so, so thank you everyone. Today. Thank you for tuning in yeah. and see you next time.
to 100 likes. Come on guys, like it. That is, that is the arrogant nature. That's the arrogant nature of people who cannot tolerate someone who has a different opinion. Them. They, they, they are the only people who have an opinion. And anyone else who is not part of the leftist progressive. If you're not leftist, if you're not what they call progressive, then you're not allowed to have an opinion. The, the, the United States flag and the Union Jack are not fascist flags. Yes, they are. It's always right and wrong. No matter who you're with, there's a right and a wrong. If you're a Tory, you know it's wrong. If you're Labour, you know it's wrong. Yeah. Even Farage knows it wrong, but he's a money grabbing little arsehole stuck up from top. Right. See, that's the problem. Yeah. It's all money, money, money. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. And we won. We won a full time. Yes. Oh look, they've all gone home. Well, Mummy's right. got to call my dinner at four. Thank you, rubber dub. Yes, you see. The leftists, they can't hack it. They can't hack a bit of opposition. They've all gone home crying to their mummies now. That horrible man with a flag, he was there again. That horrible Brexit Batman. Oh, we can't stand it. Even Corbyn had to go home. He can't take the heat. He's gone back to tend to his vegetables. Gone back to his million pound house, yeah. like most of them. Oh, his million pound house. That's right. Smells and smells. Hey, what's going on here? God bless America. Oh, yeah, come here, mate. We're on live on TV. We're live. This is a hero, the hero of College Green. The man himself, Jeremy. Oh, he took care of our flags day and night in the cold, in the rain. And where the leftists were attacking our flags, yeah, yeah. he was running after them, chasing them. This is the man, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Where's the money? Where's the 50 quid? Where's the fans from, Steve, by the way? Oh, oh, that's it. You did. You're just going to be cheerleading for it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? 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 Where are
Ladies and gentlemen, I think that concludes our activities for the day. We're going to go home, we're going to finish my laundry. I was, you know, that fellow Jeremy Corbyn, I was in the middle of my laundry. Then I heard a phone call, Jeremy Corbyn's out here. So I had to go and finish off. So, uh, Jubilee Line Line was closed. Yes, I, I got to my station and it was closed. I went home and uh, I thought I, I can't make it to the thing and then they told me they were coming to Trafalgar Square. So uh, I got the bus uh, to Queen's Park and got on the Bakerloo Line to come down here. Got here just in time for Corbyn. Uh, yes. Well, here's the lefty press. There we go. How you doing, mate? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you independent? Are you the Who are you? Who are Dan, are we finished? Dan, 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 are we finished? Are we finished, Dan? We're finished now. Yeah, we're finished for the day. All right, mate, thank you so much. I'm really happy to uh, yeah. support you. All right, so go to his, go to Moscow Patriot News. I've got to buy a computer first. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a line in my house. He hasn't computer. caught up with the modern no, no. world yet. I had to cut cut the line off years ago because I went in hospital and had two hips replaced oh, on no. a great national health service <laughs> yes. right, but I couldn't yeah. afford to pay bills so, so I, what stream is this? Cut, I cut things back right, 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 okay. tightened up the belt a little yeah, bit yeah. austerity come on let's go let's go now my hands I've worked with it well, now we can, can I be on your live stream? you are you are already am I? yes oh fabulous Let's go. This one really hurts things. I thought he was going to die pretty soon, which is probably true. You really hurt that, didn't you? Here we are, and yet here we are. Mr. Dane, what way, what way are you going to go? Did you see the cover for this? The black hole, did I give it to you? No, you give it to me. Oh. 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 Did you find it? Oh. 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 Oh.
Is this boy in cover? Oh, uh, no. Uh, if I go over, he's dead. Uh, he's still alive, uh, aren't I? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, he's looking for his um, cover to his flags. What? What's he lost? What's he lost? Cover to his flags. Cover to his flags. He's nicked your flag for a bit. Where's he gone? Dane? Uh, the guy who my laundry. <laughs> what did you do then? Paul Smith phoned me up. I told him he nicked stores no going on. Yeah, I knew about this because the Jews told me about it. So they sent me a thing. So I sent it to Paul and I said, look, this is going on here. I was in a pub and no one was ever saw And I saw Andy said, fuck yeah. I thought like Andy's going on. Oh well, I think that was a good day's work. Yeah. Yeah. Should we go? Next week, nice. So next week, Saturday. Hey. Oh, wait, Dan, what day? What day are you going? What way are you going? What way? Uh, I don't know. Hey, you want to go to the yeah, coffee yeah, or something? Where are we getting Benson? Huh? Where are we getting Benson? Hey, well, I wouldn't buy it for you. You're underage. Let's go on. Um, guys, I'm just gonna keep this stream running in case we get followed because there was a lot of fucking Antifa there. Yeah, I was. I almost gave up on it. You know? I got home. I thought I started doing my laundry, and then, and then I went. I went on to your stream. Yeah. And then, and then I, I realised because I thought it was a rally at Portland Place. Yeah. No, they, we walked down. They, they, they gathered there, and then we walked from there down to. Uh, yeah. I was saying because when I saw this, when I, I realised I was watching, and I saw the crowd getting bigger and bigger, and it was like a line. I thought, oh no, looks well, like they're Dan, marching. what did you make of, make of what happened there today? Oh, it was excellent. We had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, uh, God, they got triggered once again. The, the, the stars and stripes. Penny, Amy, Jess, Maz, they got triggered again. <laughs> and I've got great footage. It started all very boring, but it livened up when Dan turned up with the flag. Going back. Yeah. The the stripes that triggers them like nothing else. They were calling it a fascist flag. How could you call the stars and stripes of the United States of America, the founding nation, liberty and freedom in the whole world? And you call it a fascist flag. That's how deranged, mentally deranged these people are. It shows how little they know about anything. The founding fathers of America established a nation on the constitution that guarantees liberty for everyone. Now call us they're not perfect, and their history is not perfect. And they went, they did some wrong things, you know, slavery and so on. But they learnt the lesson, and they and they changed. And and America stands for liberty, freedom. Second Amendment is the only way to guarantee uh, your protection from from the state. And these people have no idea. In fact, you can't really blame them because they haven't been educated. No one has taught them properly. They're not taught anything in school. So in a way. If they're normal, they're not the kind of idiots. I will talk with them. I will have a nice conversation with them because, because especially the young ones, they don't understand. And some of the young people who we t I talked to today were, were nice, nice people. They weren't, you know, the arrogant, horrible ones. Oh, but there ones. were a few dickheads there. Yeah, there were some total dickheads, especially the fellow with the megaphone, who, who, the Lone Ranger. You just couldn't, you just couldn't um, communicate with him at all. No, he, he, what, no, you, no talking, no dialogue, nothing. How can you talk to someone who's shouting at you with a megaphone? And so, and they call him the Lone Ranger because of his mask. So, uh, anyway, I think it was great. Sure. Are we
I, I think we had a, at one point we had a crowd of young people around us and I was actually talking to them and they were actually listening and, uh, and I tried to listen to them and understand what they're saying, try to communicate, try to help them understand, try to help them change their mind that Trump is not a war president. He's probably avoided wars. The Democrats would have taken America to war. They are the corrupt to the core. And uh, they are very, very dangerous people, the Democrats. And I'm worried about what they're going to do. They're going to, they want to get rid of Trump more than anything else in the world. And we, we have to stand up for Trump. If you're on the internet, if you're on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you've got to support Trump. Spread Trump 2020. All over the internet, let people around the world know, let Americans know that we support Trump here in the United Kingdom. And uh, pray for Trump, pray for America, because we've got, we've got, uh, we, we've got Brexit, at least it's, it's a start, and now the next thing is, the next battle is, is for Trump. So uh, that's what we have to do, support Trump from now on, get on your internet, use your social media, fight for Trump, uh, attack this fake impeachment. Okay, it's going, my battery's going to run out. Okay, so, so thank you everyone. Thank you for tuning in yeah. and see you next time.